Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome back to another Ninjago news update video here on the channel. If I sound a little tired or out of breath in this video, I literally just woke up and ran out to my car to record this. So, so if I sound like that, you know why. But we have some new Ninjago 2019 summer set news here on the channel to discuss. Um, I do have a list of everything that I do want to cover here. I don't know how long this video is going to be, but basically what happened overnight was we got some new uh, set pictures for some of the Ninjago sets that are coming out in the next wave, of course, for season 11 and also the summer 2019 wave in addition to that. Um, all these sets we have seen before, but we just have new pictures of them and we also have a new poster. So let's get started by doing that first and talking about that. So first of all, I don't think I'm going to be able to show anything in this actual video itself because I don't know if these pictures are still technically not official. They don't have the confidential stamp on them, but just for safety, I'm not going to be showing them in here. However, I will compile a list of everything that I found down below in the description on my Instagram, which you can go check out and follow along with the video as it goes on. So apologies to that, but until an actual official LEGO source uploads these pictures and, you know, reveals them to all of us, I'm just going to go ahead and stick with the, uh, you know, the instinct that maybe uploading these pictures in the video is not really a good idea. But I can discuss them, though, and you guys can follow along on my Instagram if you would like to. But starting things off, we do have a new kind of mini poster showing all six ninja in what's known as their forbidden spinjitsu forms. We have all of them, Kai, Cole, Zane, Jay, Lloyd, and Nia. All of them are here, and all of them are looking very, very cool with their forbidden spinjitsu masks on, which of course do sort of provide that elemental aesthetic as well to their overall design. They're basically bursting with elemental energy, and I think it's really well done the way that they've actually designed these figures, and we'll see more of those later on when we talk about the spinjitsu slam sets. But this poster overall is really cool, and yes, I do like to talk about posters because I do feel like a lot of design and work effort go into the actual posters themselves, so we always have to stop and appreciate them when we can and this poster is no different i really like this poster quite a bit i think it's really cool and once again all of the ninja in their forbidden spinjitsu forms all of them look really cool i love how they're bursting with elemental energy sort of reminds me of something that you'd see out of an anime such as dragon ball or my hero academia Next up, we have some actual pictures of sets. Some of them do have boxes attached to them, and let me just say that the, uh, the designs for the boxes that they're actually coming out with in this new wave are really cool. They're switching it up a little bit with the logo off to the side, and then the right-hand side is basically Forbidden Spinjitsu Kai, which is what we kind of expected. I mean, so I don't know if that means Kai is going to be the focus ninja for this wave, but I do think it's safe to say that all of the boxes for the Ninjago uh, actual sets themselves and not the Forbidden Spinjitsu sets will actually feature Kai on the box, so that's really interesting and curious to think about there. But starting off first, we have Lloyd's Mech, which comes with Lloyd, Zane, and a few Ice Samurai. Now what's interesting is that some of these sets are actually incorporating a few variations of minifigures into their arsenal. Like for example, in this set we have Lloyd in his normal form and Zane in his Forbidden Spinjitsu form. And that Forbidden Spinjitsu form is actually different from the version that we have in the Spinjitsu Slam sets. So a little confusion there. I really don't know what that's about there. It reminds me of what they would do with Ninjago sets back in the day where they would introduce the full ninja and then the next ninja in the set would just have the half mask. I really am not a big fan of that. Um, I want to get all the ninja in their actual full variants, so having a mix will provide, you know, an, an opportunity to buy more sets, which is kind of disappointing because it just seems like kind of like a sly tactic on LEGO's part for, you know, figure collectors such as myself, but we're not going to really get into detail with that here. Lloyd's mech looks pretty cool. Next up, we have the Land Bounty. Now, the Land Bounty, I really didn't like when we first saw the initial pictures for it. However, with these new uh, set pictures and things like that, I really actually do kind of like it. I think it looks sleek, and they've added some things to it. And this set comes with Nia, Wu, Kai, Cole, Jay, and a whole bunch of Pyro Snakes. So something else that I've noticed is that they've kind of just been... Uh, incorporating variations of villains in the sets as well. Some sets will have the Ice Samurai as the villains, while other sets will have the Pyro Snakes, which is kind of what we expected overall. We kind of expected a mix and a balance for that, and we appear to be getting that with uh, such sets like these. Next up, the Shurikopter, the new helicopter for Zane. This set is one that actually has a box attached to it, and that looks pretty cool. I like that quite a bit. Um, it comes with Zane, obviously, and Jay in his, uh, I believe the Forbidden Spinjitsu form, could be wrong about that, and the Ice Samurai uh, themselves.
times, you know, a few of those, or maybe just one. I can't really remember. In case it's not obvious, I don't have the actual physical pictures in front of me right now. I just have a list that I created for that. And of course, I don't really get too specific with that. But from what I remember, the Shurocopter looks really cool. Again, I love the design for the boxes, and the Shurocopter might be one that I actually get. I wasn't really expecting, you know, a standard helicopter for Zane. I was sort of expecting it to look more like a Shuriken, maybe a flying saucer kind of shape there. But overall, I really like the look of that quite a bit. I think this helicopter works fine for uh, Zane and things like that. I think, it I think it looks fine, honestly. I mean, it's a good design, it's a good build, and it looks really cool. And of course, it does come with some great minifigures as well. Next up, the Katana 4x4 featuring Kai, Nia, and a whole bunch of pyro snakes. So the Katana 4x4 seems to be carried over from the Katana V11, which was Kai's vehicle during Season 8. And it, it, again, it's a it's a 4x4 off-road vehicle if you were expecting anything else. And this looks interesting. We've never really seen Kai have a vehicle such as this before. I mean, in the past, he's just had bikes and, you know, planes and things like that, mechs even. But I don't think he's ever had a vehicle such as this. So that's going to be really cool to see Kai actually use something like like this and again it comes with Kai and Nia and a whole bunch of pyro snakes again they're mixing up the minifigures here featuring one actual ninja in their full garb and one with the forbidden spinjitsu things on them so I guess that's something the fire fang though the next set that we're going to be talking about is actually really cool uh, they've updated it from the previous leak that we saw and they actually gave it sort of a cobra effect to it so this is probably going to be the equivalent of the pyro snakes great devourer probably just a you know brute or a titan of sorts for the snake tribe and things like that um, we really don't have any specific details regarding that but we do have a look at it and it looks really cool and really intimidating and overall it's just something really unique to see and I don't really see how anybody could really dislike this I mean we haven't really had a giant snake build since again the great devourer and I have a feeling that this version of the snake will probably be the pyro snakes version of that very same snake Next up, we have Cole's bike featuring Cole, Kai, and Pyro Snakes. I really like the look of this Cole uh, motorcycle here. It sort of reminds me of the first, or uh, the motorcycles coming off of the, uh, the Ultra Stealth Raider from back in the day. That looks really cool. Um, we have a tread up front and a wheel in the back, so another half-tracked vehicle for Ninjago. Ninjago seems to like to introduce those a lot. We have a bunch of those under the Ninjago collection belt, and yeah, it comes with Cole, Kai, and a Pyro Snake. Now, something else that's curious to mention here, Cole has an interesting new weapon that sort of looks like a, a hammer mixed with his golden scythe, so I don't know if that's going to be a big plot point during Season 11 if they combine their regular weapons with the golden weapons. I don't know where that's coming from, but it does sort of look like that in the sets itself. And some other ninja have other weapons that have a similar sort of design element to that. Next up, Lloyd's Journey, one of these smaller sets featuring Lloyd, a wolf, and the Ice Samurai. Now, the wolf is rumored to be that same character that is uh, that has a human minifigure as well that I did a video on a few uh, days ago. And in the next set that we're going to be talking about, she actually comes in that in her human form. So I don't know what this character is going to be doing within the actual story of Ninjago Season 11. I doubt that she's going to be like explained very much. I, I think she's just going to be added in there just because. And it appears that Lloyd is going to be getting a golden sword here, so I don't know if that's a weapon from the first Spinjitzu Master or things like that, but I will be doing a video in the future talking about the potential that that has as well. And again, like some of the other Ninjago sets, Lloyd isn't really equipped with his full ninja garb here. He just, have a, he just has, you know, a half mask and that's about it, which is, again, kind of disappointing. I don't like when Ninjago sets do that, but for the most part, this looks like a small little set that really is kind of harmless in nature. And for the last actual main set, we have the Ice Temple featuring Lloyd, Cole, and a whole bunch of Ice Samurai, as well as the wolf character in her human form. At least that's what I think it is. But um, I'm kind of disappointed that this overall uh, main Ice villain vehicle thing or base doesn't really have... Um, that many ninja characters in it. It, appear, it appears that like the majority of the ninja characters will be following in the land bounty set and things like that. So I guess that's interesting. I mean, I guess they're going to be incorporated in, into that set and not really present in the Ice Temple set or the Castle of the Forbidden Emperor, whatever you want to call it, whatever it's actually called. I don't actually know. But uh, yeah, Lloyd Cole and the Ice Emperor, I guess they're going to battle it out along with this new character that may or may not have the ability to transform into a wolf. Again, that's kind of a gray area there. But for the most part, I think it looks fine. And lastly here, we have a few Spinjitsu Slam sets, including one for Zane, one for Jay, one for Lloyd, and a combo pack between Kai and an Ice Samurai. So really interesting stuff there. And for the most part, Kai is, you know, going up against an Ice Samurai, so that's cool. But they also have, I guess, a little bit of a difference 
variants with this Forbidden Spinjitzu figure as opposed to the ones that actually come in the sets. So in the sets, they actually have masks that follow their actual color. So for example, Kai has a red mask, while in the uh, Spinjitzu Slam sets, Kai has a gold mask. And it seems like three of the ninja will have golden masks, whilst uh, the other three will have silver. So in this case, we have Lloyd and Kai with gold, and Jay and Zane with silver. So if I were to go ahead and actually imagine what the other ones would look like, I would say that perhaps Cole would have gold and Nia would have silver, something like that, if we actually get those two in uh, Spinjitzu Slam form. Otherwise, we do have actual Forbidden Spinjitzu versions of those two in the original main sets that are coming out this wave. So with all that being said, that'll just about do it for this quick Ninjago news video here. Again, I really don't know how long this is going to be when it's done, but I figured it'd, uh, it'd be a good opportunity to go ahead and talk about these sets. And again, I apologize if I do sound kind of tired. I literally just woke up and recorded this video. So, you know, you got to stick to the grind and you got to go ahead and actually be motivated to actually do these videos when they come out. So with that being said, that'll just about do it for this video here. Again, if you have not seen these pictures, you can find a link in the description towards my Instagram that'll actually go ahead and have the pictures on it. So be sure to do that. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching this one. If you enjoyed the video, as always, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up rating. And of course, remember to hit the subscribe button if you've not done so already. Once again, guys, the comment section is there for the various discussions that you would like to have regarding this topic, or if you just had a comment of a general nature, that's fine as well. In the description, you will find links towards my other forms of social media, whether it be my Twitter, my Instagram, my Patreon, or my merch. Be sure to support me on all those platforms if you would like to. With that being said, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video once again. My name is Tanner Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell.